I'm so grateful and so thankful to God, our Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit that comforts and guides us, that he had graced us and graciously graced us on this grand and gracious day to be here under the caption of Grace School of Theology. I thank God again for blessing and to for our president, Dr. Dave Anderson, the angel of this house, and to the graduates with grace of 2021. I stand before you in reference to Acts 126. And they cast forth lots, and the lot fell upon Collins. <laughs> and I stand here as the least among you all. I'm grateful to God that he have graded us, and I've come to express and to expound and to encourage and always to exalt Elohim. I want to say I'm always thankful for all my professors and teachers, uh, the council, the Cox, the, the Cortez, the, the Kikers, the Lynn, Pena with that beautiful voice of hers, Pena, and to the uh, Ellers, and to the uh, Moodles, the Millers, and to the Walls and to the Wilson and to all of those. And please don't go through Great School of Theology unless you take a class from our president, Dr. Dave Anderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I stand here, if I can be transparent, I'm grateful to one person. And it's none other than the Dean, Dr. Mark Haywood. Yeah. I come to know, as I give my testimony of grace, I come to know Dean when he was at CBS. And he was... Uh, professor there, he, and I had took three semesters with the dean. And in those three semesters, for whatever reason, uh, that avenue had closed. And when it closed, I did like the prophet Jeremiah. I went sat down in my easy chair. <laughs> Some time had passed, a few years later, I met a friend of mine, he's saying he was taking seminary courses at a place called Grace School of Theology. And I said, well, that's fine. And then he told me, and we got an awesome teacher by the, what we call the dean. I said, well, I know a dean, but he is at CBS. I said, his, his name is Dr. Mark Haywood. He said, no, he said, he is at Grace School of Theology. I said, okay, then. A few days later, I was able to get in contact with the dean and make a long story short. The dean told me, he said, no, I'm over here at Grace School of Theology. He said, we have a wonderful president, and his, his, his vision is to go forward and further. And when he told me that, he said, now, are you still in seminary? I said, no, sir, I'm not. He said, well, you need to come over here to Gray School of Theology, and here I stand before you on this day wow. at Gray School of Theology. So what, is, what about Gray School of Theology? What, what, what has my journey been? What is it all about? What can I share who can I encourage when it comes to great school of theology? Well, first of all, in reference to the book of Acts, you remember that when Jesus was being ascended, he had told the disciples, I need you to go to Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the world. And that's where I see great school of theology. Great school, not only keep it at home, but they also reach out to the homeboys. And then if that's not enough, they stretch all the way out to Port Arthur, Texas, yeah. and Beaumont, and then they go east, south, north, and west. And you look in the book, they go to Cuba and to Nepal and to Haiti and to the uttermost part of the world, keeping that mandate that Jesus Christ said to his disciples. And so the question always arises, what else have I learned here at Grace School of Theology? Well, you know, Jesus ascended in that first chapter. Then when you peruse through the second chapter of Acts, the Holy Spirit came down as a rushing mighty wind. And the Bible says that Peter preached his first sermon. And Peter preached Jesus Christ. When you go over into the third chapter, there's a man lame at the gate. And Peter told him, we're two broke preachers. <laughs> but he said, 
He said, silver and gold have it, but such as we have, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Jesus. Because of it, in the fourth chapter, when you get over there, you'll find out that now Peter and John are before the Sanhedrin. And as they stand before the Sanhedrin, the Bible said that they told them, I don't mind you preaching, but just don't use that name, Dr. Adolf. <laughs> when you go into the fifth chapter, that's where we, we see dishonesty. Heal, uh, all because of a couple named Ananiah and Sapphira. Then you move over into the sixth chapter, there's this murmuring. And seven deacons are chosen. And when you get into the seventh chapter of Acts, there is a deacon slash evangelist by the name of Stephen. The Bible says Stephen preached Jesus Christ. And then when you get into the eighth chapter, because of the stoning of Stephen brought this persecution. And the Bible says that in that eighth chapter, because there was persecuted while preaching. And the Bible says that Philip slash deacon evangelist went all the way to Samaria. And this is where I see great school of theology. Because great mission is, if I can just reach one somebody. And here it is, Philip is preaching to the Samaritans. And the Bible says that many came to Jesus Christ. And then, this is grace again, still of being sensitive, surrender, and submissive to the Spirit of God, was told by the Spirit, I need you to leave a place of many to go to one man. Uh, I need you to leave the city and go to a desert. And the Bible says when he gets out there, he sees an Ethiopian. The Ethiopian has just came back from worship. He had his scroll open he was reading his scroll but he couldn't understand what he was reading and the spirit told philip say john thyself to that chariot yeah. and the bible said that when philip joined himself to the chariot this is great school of theology he asked him a question understand it what thy readings and the ethiopian being transparent said how can i understand Unless somebody guide me. And I'm here to tell you today, that's what great school is about. To guide us in our reading. The Bible says that he goes on and, and the Ethiopian uh, was reading from the book of Isaiah. And he asked Philip, who is he talking about? Dean, is it himself or is it another? And the Bible says that Philip Preach unto him, Jesus Christ. Yes, and I stay in the day to tell you, graduates with grace of 21, that this is what great school of theology and our president is all about teaching us mainly about Jesus Christ. Now, it is a theology school. And so what is the difference between theology and Jesus? Well, you can read a book on atomic physics, but Jesus is like watching the bomb go off. Wow. Uh, you can read a, a textbook on electrical engineering, but Jesus is like sticking your finger in a light socket. Now, they will teach you theology. They will teach you uh, uh, angiology, anthropology, bibliology, Christology, uh, ecclesiology, eschatology. They would teach you how pneumatology, pneumatology. They would teach you soteriology and theology proper. But they also want to teach you about Jesus. Because great school know that Jesus is the pinnacle. It's the apex. It's the summit. It's the mountaintop. It's all about him, Paul said, I want you to know him, and that's what great school is about. As a matter of fact, Dean Dr. Mark Hay would say it is the meta-narrative of the Bible. 
It is God's sovereign right to rule and to reign on earth as he does in heaven to love and to be loved. In other words, what have I taken from grace school of theology? That he was born of a virgin Mary, that he lived a sinless life, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he was buried, he rose the third day according to scripture, ascended back to the heaven, sent the Holy Spirit to live in our lives, and then one day he is coming back. They want you to get the big picture. They want you and I to know that the Old Testament tell us he is coming. The gospel tell us he is here. The preaching of the gospel was in the book of Acts. The epistle defend and define that preacher. And then Revelation says he's coming again. And this is what we want to know. I believe Pastor Beaver said on last night, it's good to graduate, but you still got to have growth with it. And not only you have to have growth, you got to also give. And so the question is, what do we give? When we are taught and when we receive our degree, our job, the mountain is in our hands to tell other people about great school of theology. Tell them this, it is attainable, it's accessible, it is affordable. You tell them all you need to be is available and they will find out that it is audacious and adventurous. I say today to the class of grace 2021, may God grace, God redemption at Christ's expense. May grace, God revelation with Christian and power, may grace be with you all.